Hello, and welcome to Higher Ground Gaming. This is Eric. Um, game set. This will be game seven today of our uh, 1905 season replay of the Major League Baseball. Um, we'll be playing the seventh game of the New York Giants schedule, and they'll be playing taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. Uh, in the last game, the Phillies. Handed the Giants their third loss of the year, to, so they now have a record of three and three. So welcome to the Baker Bowl. For t this isn't actually the Baker Bowl. Um, this is uh, Scheib Park here. Um, for today's game between New York and Philadelphia, Hooks Wiltsy will start for the New York. He'll be making his first start on the year. He'll be opposed by Frank Corridan for Philadelphia. He's made one start in the year and is 1-0 with an ERA of 5. This will be his first start against New York. 65 degrees, wind speed 11 miles per hour in from center field. And we have light rain, so we got to watch out for that. Might have some slick conditions on the field. So hopefully it will be good enough so we can play the game through. So I was going through um, this game here, setting it up again. And I noticed something interesting in here. Uh... I don't know if it was in here. Maybe reports. No, it wasn't reports either. It must have been on one of the menus that was uh, before you get into the game here. But anyway, um, there was a, a tab. I think it was under rosters or something, and that might have been it. Um, you could actually go into the... Oh, maybe it's under my... Let's see. Let's check here. No. Play ball! So, all right, let's check it now. No, I guess I can't. Hmm, where was it? Anyway, I don't remember what it was, but anyway, I was able to... Um, there's an option to print baseball cards, or print cards of the players, so I was like, that's pretty cool. So, uh, you can do two different sizes. Uh, you can fit 10 per, uh, per 9 by 11 sheet. And basically what it does is you can either choose the replay stats or you can choose the uh, their lifetime, their real stats. And uh, it's pretty cool. It, it prints a, gives a picture of them and it gives a bunch of their stats, the stats that are in the game. And it's then below it, it shows the team, their, what positions they play. And uh, you can print a little baseball card out of it, which is kind of cool. Um, you know, it's not like you, you can't really use it or anything as far as like a... Uh, like for you know, uh, there's no cards and dice version of this game, but it's still a pretty cool option uh, that I didn't even realize was was available until I accidentally just clicked on it. But anyway, this will be Game Seven of the New York Giants, um, 2005. I'm um, 2000, yeah, 1905 season. And um, I don't think I could find a picture of the Baker Bowl, so I ended up using Shide Park, which didn't open for another, I think three or four years after this so but you know it's still an older ballpark in which the Phillies and I believe the A's also played in Philadelphia both the uh, major league franchises there so uh, the New York Giants will be visiting the Philadelphia and um, this will be the lineup for the your New York Giants so let's see Mike Donlin will be leading off and Playing center field. George Brown will be the right fielder batting second. Batting third will be the catcher, Roger Bresnahan. And I think he may have moved up in the order. I, I want to say that McGann bat was batting third on a four, but I'm not 100% sure. It's been a little while since I played, a, played one of these games. Um been playing a lot of replay baseball and inside pitch baseball, so I figured I'd mix it up a little bit today. Uh, I know Al Red Sox fan enjoys watching it, and I believe Ron Jackett's probably been watching it. If he's not too busy from his uh, from his day job, you know, following the Washington Nationals, there, I know he's pretty pretty busy with that right now, being spring training and getting ready to uh, you know go into the season starting next week. So um, you know, I imagine he's pretty busy with that. Um, check out his Retro Sports Network. Um, some great replays, including Action PC Baseball. So he plays uh, 
Red Sox 1946 season, I think, as well as I believe the 1964 season. Um, you know, among other games that he plays. And um, L Red Sox fan will play some uh, mostly out of the park baseball, but he's re- currently running a retro 1960 Red Sox season. So um, check out his channel also. And also ID Gesture, he does. Uh, some replay baseball. He's playing in the 19, 2016. Um, yeah, uh, Baltimore Orioles, as well as he's doing a tournament using inside pitch from the 2015 season. He's doing like a one and done for the best 30 teams of the. Uh, well, all 30 teams. Um, it's like basically one and done. It's a playoffs uh, scenario set up like kind of like a Sweet 16 or the. You know, um, March Madness kind of setup. So if you're into uh, into that, check that out. So all right, so batting fourth and playing first base will be the switch inning Dan McGann. Batting fifth and playing left field will be whoops Sam Mertes. Batting sixth and playing third will be Art. No, yeah, Art Devlin. Batting sec- seventh and playing s- shortstop will be Bill Dallin. Batting eighth and playing second base, Billy Gilbert. And on the mound, making his. Oh, no. Yeah. And on the mound, making his first start of the year will be Hooks Wiltsey. Gotta love the names. So, all right, so let's get the game underway. And they'll be going against Frank Corridon. We're making a start for uh, for Philadelphia. He currently has a record of 1-0. and Pitched a complete game, allowed nine hits. And it looks like five runs, a walk, and a strikeout. So, all right, Mike Donlin will be, bat- will be batting first. He's hitting 280 with three RBIs. And it's a ball hit to center field. And Thomas will be under it and make the catch. So one down. So that's how we'll start today. George Brown hitting 280 with a homer and five RBIs. We'll step into the box next. Ground ball to second. Over to first. Two down. So the catcher, Roger Bresnahan, is up now. Off to a good start, hitting 364 with an RBI. Has had tr- some trouble uh, behind the plate there, throwing a couple errors uh, on runners attempting to steal. He he's, takes looks at, uh, excuse me. <laughs> Here's the pitch. And he's going to have himself a solid single. So a two-out base knock for Bresnahan. And gives the first hit of the day for the Giants. Dan McGann up now. Hitting 400 with six RBIs. Throws over to first. And Bresnahan's back safely. Ground ball to second. Over to first, and that'll do it. So we head to the bottom of the first. No score. And as we said, on the mound is Hooks Wiltsey. He was 15-6 and six on the regular season with a 2.47 ERA. 197 innings pitched, 158 hits, 5 home runs, 61 Ks, and I mean, sorry, 61 walks and 120 strikeouts. So 120 strikeouts was pretty good for back then. So Roy Thomas will lead it off for the Philadelphia Phillies. And bat first, playing center field. Batting sec- second will be Titus. That's his first name here. It'll be John Titus, the right fielder. Batting third and playing left field will be Sherry McGee. Batting cleanup 
the third baseman, Ernie Courtney. Batting fifth and pl playing first will be Kitty Bransfield. Batting sixth, playing second base, will be Kid Gleason, Hall of Famer. Batting seventh and playing shortstop will be Mickey Doolin. Batting eighth and catching Red Dewin. So you have Doolan and Dewin. And batting ninth and on the mound will be Frank Corden. So up first will be Roy Thomas hit, hitting 348 with an RBI. And Schwilty strikes him out. Next up will be John Titus hitting 320 with five RBIs. And he's got himself a one out single. So next up will be Sherry McGee. Off to a slow start, hitting 192 with a homer and four RBIs. And he lines out to Devlin, one down. I mean, two down. So next up will be Ernie Courtney, hitting 346 with an RBI. And strikes him out. So two strikeouts in the inning for Wiltsey. And we'll head to the top of the second with no score. All right, leading it off for the Giants will be Sam Mertes, hitting 174 in 23 at bats. And lines out to the first baseman. Bransfield takes it, one down. So, all right, next up will be Art Devlin, hitting 261 with four RBIs. And it's going to drop in there. So he has himself a one-out one base knock here. Got 59 stolen bases, so I think we're going to be running here. And he'll get in there. So a stolen base for Devlin. His first steal of the season. Next up will be Bill Dahlin. Need 316 with four runs batted in. Runner in scoring position now. Looks like it's going to be an error on Gleason. Can't handle it. And the Giants will have the runners at the runners at the corners with one out. Billy Gilbert will come to the plate now, hitting 188. See if he can get himself an RBI. And he'll walk. So the bases will be juiced for the pitcher, Wiltsy. He's actually a very good hitter. He, in real life, he hit 278, 20 hits, and 72 at bats. A couple of doubles, 12 RBIs. So a very, very good hitting pitcher, just as good as a position player. Let's see if he can get himself an RBI here. And they're going to go home with it. It's a bet to the pitcher. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a 1-2-3 double play. And the Giants missed a golden opportunity there. They cannot score. So we head to the bottom of the second. And still no score. So Bransfield, Gleason, and Doolin will come up for the a uh, Phillies against Wiltsey. And strikes him out. So it's got three K's on the day. So next up will be Kid Gleason. Hitting 304 with four RBIs. And back-to-back -back K's here in the second. The next up will be Mickey Doolin, 292 with three RBIs. Gets it out to right. And Brown will make the catch and retire the side. All right, so the Phillies will have Doolin, Corridan, and Thomas.
That's interesting. Oh, I'm looking at Donlin. <laughs> so they they have a Doolin and a Duin, and we have a Donlin. <laughs> it's getting mixed up there for a second. So we'll have the top of the order, Donlin. Hitting 269 with three RBIs. And he gets under and pops it up to the second baseman. Gleason's under it. One down. George Brown coming up now. He's grounded the second his first time up. And he'll draw a one-out walk. Catcher Bresnahan will come up now. He lined this single his first time up. Hmm. It's a fly ball to center. And Thomas is under. It makes the catch. Brown heads back to first. So two down now for Dan McGann. Brown in the second his first time up. And he got a hit with the pitch. So Runner now in scoring position for Sam Mertes. Grounded the first, his first time up. And a walk, so the bases are juiced again. Art Devlin coming up to the plate now. Hit a single his first time up. They could use another single now. And it's going to say it's going to be error on the shortstop and the Giants are on the board. So one nothing Giants. So Dolan's up now. We have a Doolin, Doolin, Donlin, and Dolan, and a Devlin. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Interesting name choice. Not much variety there. So all right, bases are juiced. Again, already got a run aboard for Dolan. He grounded. He was safe on an air the first time up. And he hits the center. Just way back to the wall. And Thomas makes the catch. But the Giants get on the board. And after two and a half, lead, lead the Phillies one to nothing. All right, doing the catcher up now. Hitting 182 with three RBIs. Ground ball the third. Dylan's up with it. I'm sorry, Devlin's up with it. Over to McGann, one down. Pitcher Corden comes up now. He had a great game his first game in the field. I mean, at bat. He was three for four with a double and an RBI. Overall, he's a 208 hitter with a homer and eight RBIs. Flies out to Donlin, two down. Thomas up now. Struck out his first time up. It's a ground ball. And it's going to be a foul ball. Just past the first base bag. Ground ball to second. Gilbert's up with it. And that'll retire the side. So Gilbert makes the last play, and he'll be the first one up here this inning. He walked his first time up. Giants looking to add to the lead. And Gilbert has himself a hit. Not much for a stolen baser back then, so we're just going to have him hold. And Pitcher Wiltsy will be up now. And he throw over the first, and Gilbert's back safely. And it's a ground ball base hit for Wiltsey. So first and second now with nobody out. For Donlin. Flied to center and popped to second. Uh, so we got a pass ball or a wild, wild pitch. So that'll move both runners up in a scoring position. Base hit will, will most, well, maybe not plate two with the pitcher running, but possibly plate two. It's a ground ball, and 
send Gilbert home. Uh, uh, no, we're getting nobody out, so we're not gonna. Nope. And just gonna go over to first. And field his choice. So Donlin is retired. George Brown up now. Brown to second and walked. And he pops it up. And Donlin will make the catch. Two down. Press the hand up now. And take gets himself a walk. So again, the bases are loaded. Began up now. It's got a uh, hot shot, but the second base shortstop handles it. Throws over to second. And that will retire the side. So the third time the Giants have had the bases loaded and they only have one run to show for it. So Titus will come up now. S singled his first time up. Ground ball to third. Devlin's up with it and make throws over to McGann. One down. Sherry McGee lined out to Devlin his first time up. And this time he gets it past him. And Martez has trouble with it out there in the left field and he's going to end up with a double. And that'll be score that an error on Mertes, first giant error of the day. The tying runs on second for Courtney. Struck out his first time up. And he's going to have himself an RBI. And it's like Donlin has trouble with it now in center field. Bransfield, I mean, uh, McGee comes around the score. Courtney will end up with a single and move to second on the air. So, looks like things are getting kind of slick out there. That might be why they're having trouble handling it. Still misty out there, but apparently it's starting to accumulate. So, if we can get through this. So, one to one now. Still only one out for... Kitty Bransfield struck out his first time up and strikes out again. Five Ks now for Wiltsy. Kid Gleason up now, 0 for 1. Ground ball to short. Dallin's up with it and that'll retire the side. But the Phillies score one and after 4 full, we're tied at 1. I don't think there's anything going on here yet. Whoops. Check the ticker. No, no out of town scoreboard. So Sam Mertes will lead it off for the Giants. 0 for 1. And a hot shot all the way to the wall. And he's got himself a leadoff double. So a good start here for the Giants in the top of the fifth. Devlin up now. 1 for 2 on the single. And he's going to have himself a, oh, looks like they got Devlin in a rundown there, and they're able to tag him out. So bad base running by Devlin, and now there's just, now there's one out with a runner in first. Hmm. We're going to have Devlin run again. And he's out this time. Doing throws him out. So two down. Dialing up now. 0 for 2. And ooh, that could be crew costly there. Although you can't necessarily tell. Dialing gets himself a single. Gilbert up now. 1 for 1 with a walk. And a single. Have himself a hit, and it does definitely does look like it could prove costly. So Gilbert and Dylan at the corners. 
Pitcher Wiltsy, one for two. Ground ball the second, and looks like they are gonna get the run in, run an error by Gleason. So it's the third Philadelphia error, fifth error overall for both teams. So definitely the slick conditions there are starting to affect it, affect the gameplay. But the Giants take the lead, two to one now. So Dolan up now, 0 for three. And it's ground ball up the center, and uh, I think we're going to try it here. Graz going to send the runner. Throws the ball home, lets it go through, and it looks like he's going to be safe. And the Giants go up 3-1 to one now. So Gates Brown will come up. Runners on first and second and two down. Already two runs in in the inning. And a fly ball. And Thomas tracks it down. And that'll retire the side. But the Giants add two. And after halfway through the game, it's 3-1. to one. So we have an official game now. We will at the end of this inning. Do one up now. One out base knock and looks like Dallin could not get to that one. Although he should have. And Dewan's gonna have himself a hit. So Corden up now. It strikes him out. So two down and runner on first for Thomas, 0 for 2. Ground ball the short. Goes over to first, and that will retire the side. So up to 5 full now, 3 to 1. President Ann will come to the plate now, 1 for 2 on the day. Ground ball to Corden. 1 down. All right, McGann will be up now. He's grounded the second, hit by a pitch, and grounded to short. Great play by the second baseman, Gilbert. Oh, not Gilbert, I'm sorry, Gleason. After he made an error on his last play. Or recent play, anyway. So, two down now for Sam Mertes. One for two. And he's got himself a double. Thomas cut it off, but Mertes was able to beat the throw to second, and Giants have a runner in scoring position now with two down. Devlin up. Safe on an error, singled, and grounded the third. It's back to the pitcher, and that will retire the side. So after five and a half, Giants lead the Phillies three to one. Still no scores to report yet. Titus McGee and Courtney will come up for the Phillies here in the bottom of the sixth. Hits at the center. And Donald will make the catch. One down. Ground ball past the pitcher into center field. McGee has himself a one-out single. Courtney struck out in a line to single to center, allowing McGee to score on the air by Mertes. And so he's going to bunt. And sacrifice is successful. So two outs now. McGee will be on second for Kitty Bransfield. 0 for 2 on the day. And it's going to drop in there. And the Phillies play, played their second run. McGee 
scores, and now it's three to two game. Kid Gleason up now. Ground ball to short. Goes the short weight over to Gilbert, and that will retire the side. But the Phillies add one and take it. Now only trail by one. Dialing up now. Hitting 318 with four RBIs. And he lines out to Courtney, one down. Hot shot to Courtney. And Gilbert is retired. Two down. Looks like he barehanded that one. So we'll see up now. One for three. And make that two for four. So definitely Wiltsy is a great hitting pitcher. Just proved it there. John Lynn up now, one for four. Ground ball the first. Flips it over to the pitcher covering. And that will retire the side. So seventh inning stretch time. Uh, excuse me. All right, so Don Lynn up now. It'll be Don Lynn, Doolin, and Corridan here for the Phillies. Trailing by one. And that's the seventh strikeout for Wiltsy on the day. Do one up now, one for two. Ground ball the first. Waves McGann waves Wiltsy off, and that'll be two down. And it's like they're going to lift. They're going to lift uh, the pitcher, Corgan, for a pinch hitter. So his day is done. He's let up three runs on ten hits. So Kruger comes to the plate now. He's a making his first at bat of the season. He was a 184 hitter with... 12 RBIs and 114 at-bats. And he strikes out. So he heads to the top of the eighth with the Giants up by one. George Brown to come up first. It's under. It's at the shallow center field. And Thomas will range over and make the catch. Bresnan up now. One for three. And he's got himself a one-out walk. Hmm. We might try a little hit and run here. Let's try a little hit and run. And it's a good thing they had him in motion, or that would have most likely been a double play. The Bresnahan moves up to second now with two outs. It works the same as the sacrifice. Merche is up now. He's had a good day. Up two for three. Doubled a couple of times. And they're going to put him on. And Delin will, will come up now. Runners are on the move with two down. And Kid Gleason comes in the on the infield grass and fields it. And that will retire the side. So we head to the bottom of the eighth to score New York three, Philadelphia two. Grounds back to the pitcher. And down. So we'll see. Let's check out we'll see here. We can still go a little further. So one down and nobody on base. It strikes him out. Still going strong. as 9Ks on the day. So Sherry McGee up now. Two for three. Ground ball to short. Devlin Dylan's up with it. Throws over to McGann. And that'll retire the side. So after eight full, Giants still maintain a one-run lead. Looking to get some insurance here. 
Dallin Gilbert and Wiltshire will come up. And he's going to fly up. Ooh. What happened there? It looked like he caught it, but... No, he let it drop. It's a base hit. Hmm, I thought he had it for sure. So Gilbert will come up now. Hmm. I think we're going to go for a little hit and run again. And good thing we set the runner in motion. So runner in scoring position now with one out for Wiltsy. Two for four. And whoa, what happened there? That was a little off. <laughs> that, that'll be two outs. Dallin cannot move up. Thought that was a foul, but it must have been right on the line there. Dueling up now. Donlin, sorry. One for five. And he gets himself a base hit, and we're going to send him. 75% chance. Oh, yeah, we need that extra run. And we'll send him a second. Maybe we can decoy him. And he's safe. And Donlin moves up to second on the throw. So a little insurance run there. So George Brown, 0 for 4. Let's see what we have here. Let's see if we can replace him. We have a righty. George Brown is a lefty. It's 293 hitter. Let's see what we get on the bench here. Oops. Oops. Uh, he only had three at bat, so. I think we're going to leave him in. Yeah. 293 hitter. 241 in our replay so far. So two outs and a runner on second. One run in already. Make that two. Goes all the way to the wall. And Brown comes in with an RBI triple. So he rewards... The manager for leaving him in, saying, I can I can get this. I got this one coach, and he does. So that's another run, and now it's a 5-2 to two lead. So they open it up a little bit here in the ninth, make it a little easier for Wiltsy to finish up the game. Res the hand up now, one for three, and they're going to put him on. Hmm. McGann now over for four. See if he can uh, make him pay. And he gets a little under it. Left fielder runs in and makes the catch, and that will retire the side. But the Giants score two big runs and now have a 5-2 to two lead. A little cushion here for Wiltsy. He says he's still strong, so we're going to leave him in. He'll face Courtney, Bransfield, and Gleason. Ground ball back to Wiltsy. Takes him, throws himself over the first. One down. So the Athletics are down to the last two outs. Bransfield will be up first. One for three. And a hot shot. Great play by McGann. Two down. So Kid Gleason come up now. Philly is down to the last out. And it's a foul ball. And he gets under it, center field and moves under it. And that's your ball game. The New York Giants defeat the Philadelphia Phillies 5-2. to two. Yeah, We'll see, gets a uh, complete game. There's also, I believe, 2-4 for four at the plate. Corden takes the loss. So we'll see, yeah, complete game. Six hits, one earned run, two runs, one earned. So a fine outing by Wiltsy. Goes to one and oh. Corden takes the loss. He pitched a great game, didn't allow any runs. His defense just could not support him behind him. 
So it did let up 10 hits, though. So that's seven innings pitched, 10 hits, three runs, none of them earned. Four walks. So he didn't help himself here either. Yeah, his stuff was only 47. Game score was only 47. And Wiltsy had good stuff. He, he definitely did. So Philadelphia just had six hits. McGee was two for four. Pretty much their highlight right there. A lot of the five batters had two hits for the uh, Giants. Brown had himself a triple. Mertes had himself a couple of doubles and a couple of walks, so he had a good day. Also two for three. So let's look at the recap. So we failed to score on a, on a hit, one walk and an error in the first, second. Sent seven batters to the plate in the third and only scored one run on two walks and an error. Four through failed to score on two hits and one walk. So the Phillies scored a run in the fourth. Say what? That is not the fourth. Oh, yeah, it is the fourth. Okay. Courtney singled, scoring McGee. An E8 tied the score. A lot of errors took in the game. Five overall. So in the fifth, we sent seven batters to the plate, scoring two runs and four hits. Wiltsy hit a grounder to scoring, scoring one and E4 to take the lead. Mike Donlin singled, scoring Gilbert. Six, we scored a run on two hits. Kitty Bransfield singled, scoring McGee. We sent seven batters to the plate in the ninth. Scored two runs this time with three hits. So we're getting a lot of base runners. We just, uh, you know, we scored an okay amount of runs. We gotta get those big hits with runners in scoring position. To could have, we could have actually had like a easily had like at least two or three more runs. I think. So Hooks will see pitched a solid, complete game for win, for the win, one earned run, six hits. Goes 1-0 in the year, and Corden was the loser. Drops the 1-1 one in one the year. Zero innings pitched. I don't know what that, why it says zero there. He definitely did not hit zero. He pitched seven innings, so. But that's it. So the Giants improved to a record of 5-2. and two. And let's take a look at our standings here. The Cubs came into the game... With a 6-0 and record. Let's see if they can. Yeah, looks like they went to 7-0. and Let's check out the uh, Cubs score here. So the Cubs blanked the Reds 2 to nothing to improve the 7-0. and Brown moves to 2-0. I think that's, I think that's Mordecai Brown, I want to say. So let's check that. Let's check it out here. I think that's. I want to say that's uh, Mordecai Brown, but we'll find out. Huh. Did I pick the right team? Uh, oh no, wait. No, no. Did I? No, I didn't. Yeah, Mordecai Brown. He was 18 and 12 on the year. He's 2 and 0 so far. So, all right. So, let's check out tomorrow's game. We're going to be playing. I should just do this. Upcoming. So, tomorrow. All right. So, tomorrow we're going to start a new series with the. No, that's not us. No, oh, here we are. We're going to continue with the game three of the series. We're going to send Ames to the mound. He'll be facing 
matched up against Pittinger, who we've already seen so far in the season. So that's it. So thank you for and even the White Sox are in very good. Can they're only uh, they're six and one. So Chicago, Chicagoans, <laughs> the people of Chicago are really loving the uh, their team so far. Twelve and one combined. All the people of St. Louis aren't too happy. Three and ten. Boston people from Boston are. Eight and seven, so so that's it. So thank you for joining us, Eric from Higher Ground Gaming, and we'll see you in the next video. God bless.